Have I got green mega eagle? Okay, so we need to make some steel work for the top of the underground bunker workshop. Uh, the steelwork's got to support the lift. Uh, in the interest of getting things started, tunnelling, um, and for uh, flexibility, to begin with I'm not going to mount the big 20 tonne winch up there. I'm just going to stick a little, um, a little 240 volt winch and have it operated by a, a wireless remote. Yeah? And that should get things moving and then uh, over time I'll uh, I'll put together the diesel hydraulic winch set up and figure out a way of getting that remotely operated as well. <laughs> Which would be awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think we can all agree that'll be uh, that'll be fun. But the steel work, what we're gonna do is the is the permanent steel work, so um, rather than rather than make it twice, I'll make the steel work permanent, and then we can put the temporary work temporary winch on the permanent steel work. What I want to do with the steel work, um, we've got to make it reasonably nice uh, in keeping with the with the pillars that I spent quite a bit of time getting nice. So um, we're gonna we're gonna use I beam because it's the sort of strongest, easiest stuff to work with, uh, but in order to make it look nice. I don't think we just want plain I-beam with a couple of upstands. This has to be two foot high as well. Um, what I want to do is bend some I-beam. Yeah. Oh, that's that's, that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? So we're not actually going to bend I-beam. Um, we're going to cut I-beam up and then bend the components and then weld it back together. Shed stops you getting too hot. That's one of those uh, one of those instances where the offcuts look more like the workpiece and vice versa. <laughs> uh, like we've not been that accurate with the uh, with the plasma cutter. Um. That's a good advert for my new Dunlop belly boots, isn't it? Any other pair of boots and that would have taken my toe off. These fucking moon boots though. Dunlop pure fort. Can't recommend them enough, lads. <laughs> Very well insulated, but without the fluff on the inside that always comes out with uh, uh, rigger boots and whatnot. You know, it's like all the good bits of rigger boots and welly boots put together. And they're about a quarter inch thick on the shin, so uh, when you do stuff like that, it doesn't take you out all day. Fucking trains.
Okay, so we've got our four, uh, what are we calling these? I've got no idea, the arch bits. Um, obviously that I-beam's gonna sit atop them. I've only tacked it in place so far, so we've got to go around and uh, weld it up proper now. Um, I'll give it a, give it, I'll drag it outside and then have a go at it with the, uh, with the big grinder with the, with the wheel on it when everything's welded. All right, these are all welded up now. Um, I've still got a few few spots I've got to touch up. Um, you know, uh, I'm getting I'm getting there with the welding. Hey, eh? these are these are good and solid. Uh, I've just been um, blasting blasting all the slag off the welds with the um, with the needle hammer. That's quite fun. Okay, look, we got the corner pieces, two of them, uh, bollocks, uh, bolted, um, clamped to uh, one of the I-beams, yeah, this, this isn't going to get welded here or anything, um, these are the right way up now, so those flats down there are going to sit on the, on the concrete pillars, um, and... We'll have we'll have them set in rubber basically to act as a, a little bit of an expansion joint, but also a shock mount. I don't know. Um, I can't have them loose because I'm a little bit worried about the torque reaction of the winch when we get the big winch up there, um, the 20 ton winch. Uh, that drum weighs a good 50 kilos plus the uh, plus the cable, so um, you know it's going to be a bit of. Um, 
bit of a movement, isn't there, when that all starts spinning up. Yep, yeah, I reckon this is going to look fucking awesome, lads. Hey, <laughs> look, absolutely spot on. Just got it, just got it up there, balanced on top. Uh, it's not all aligned yet, but I, I had to switch the camera back on. This is going to be absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, that's all done. Got some uh, got some little end caps on here. Yeah, uh, that finishes it off nicely. This is pretty much done now, as far as the welding is concerned. Uh, this will go outside. I'll attack it with a grinder, and we've got another one to do yet. Yeah. There's the other two legs. Let's uh, let's get that one welded up. It's this quite a welding intensive job. This, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, has taken considerably longer than I was uh, initially expecting it to, but I'm, you know, I'm liking the way it's looking. I think it's going to look absolutely bloody lovely on top of those pillars, isn't it, man? Right, then, folks. So there we have it. These are the uh, two big lumps of steel that are going to go and uh, sit on top of the columns for the underground bunker. Yeah. Ooh, those lovelies over there. Yeah, so they're gonna sit on top. Uh, I was I was planning on getting getting this all finished in this uh, this one video, but um, you know, not just did this take longer than I thought it would, but I'm I don't want these to look like fabricated lumps of steel, which they are. Obviously, they've been welded, um, and I would much rather they. Uh, I was, I was going to go with a riveted structure, you know, but it just take too long to figure it all out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and uh, get a lot of filler on them to the point where they hopefully look like castings. Like, uh, you know, fill in all the corners and stuff, just put little little radiuses and gussets on just with, uh, you know, polyester filler. Same there, probably probably not on the bottoms, uh, probably not on the I-beam even, um, and then probably fill it fill it a lot of the welds uh, just so it looks like it couldn't have been fabricated basically you know which leaves the eye to believe that it's uh, it's cast is not it I suppose yeah so it'll look nice I hope I hope it'll look nice it should look nice these will look awesome when they're up there on the on the pillows um, da -da, up there obviously uh, obviously we still need uh, cross pieces but that'll just be um, you know, bits of uh, more, more bits of I beam. We've got enough of this I beam left to to go across twice, and that's where the winch will sit. Um, look, they're uh, they've just brought in the second uh, second sugar beet harvest. Oh, look at the size of that bad boy! So, what I'm hoping <laughs> I'll be able to I'll be able to finish this steel work, and uh, you know, normally they leave a leave a set of forks down there for loading the, the, the beat. Um, hopefully I'll be able to use that just to stick my steels on top of the columns if, uh, if the stars align. Otherwise I might uh, might ask someone to borrow this, but yeah, that's the plan anyway. You've got to, got to try and get it finished before they, uh, they move the thousand tons of sugar beet or however much that is. I had originally just planned an arch, a simple, uh, a more simple arch, but um, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. It's, uh, it's quite a traditional shape, I think. Um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. I think this will work. Work very nicely. I'm excited to get it on top. All right? Okay. Anyway, I'll see you later, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Happy Christmas and all. If I don't get you another one beforehand, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.